Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, USMLA videos. Once again, welcome to USMLA videos. Our website is located at www.usmlavideos.net. That is www.usmlavideos.net, where we have posted hundreds of videos ranging so many topics as you prepare for USMLA examination. You can also subscribe to our USMLA video of the day and receive a new video every day directly in your mailbox. This afternoon, I want to make a few comments about cell motility. Cell motility, both kinds of cells, both eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells, they move around for their survival or to get nutrients from their surroundings or for reproductive purposes. First of all, the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm in most of the animal cells is surrounded by a plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane is the outer layer for these cells. There is nothing external to the plasma cells. But for plant cells, they have a cell wall outside the plasma membrane and this cell wall is actually composed of cellulose. So that's an important point right there. Plant cells are covered by cell wall composed of cellulose. Now on these outer layers, these cells possess motility, cell motility organelles. These organelles could be two different types. Number one, flagella. Number two, cilia. Organisms like uh, Trichomonas vaginalis, they have these uh, flagella and they actually swim around in the fluid and causes the inflammation and uh, conditions like vaginosis, trichomonas vaginalis, conditions like that. And organisms like Balantidium coli, they possess cilia. Now it is very important to understand the structure of cilia and flagella. Now, first of all, the distribution. Flagella are located on the polar regions of the cell, whereas cilia are located all around the cell. Secondly, flagella is long, whereas cilia is short. Now, similarities. Both have same basic structure and same biochemical composition. Both consists of a series of microtubules. And these microtubules are actually made up of a protein called tubulin. So the protein that makes up these cell motility organelles is tubulin. Then the microstructure. The microstructure, these microtubules are arranged in a 9 plus 2 system. Nine pairs in the periphery, whereas two single microtubules in the center. This is the basic structure of all flagella and all cilia. Nine plus two, nine peripheral pairs and two single tubules in the center. So these outer tubules are connected with so many things, you know, outer sheath and uh, nexin, inner dynein arm, outer dynein arm. You don't have to struggle with all those details, but the basic thing you need to remember is that these structures are made up of microtubules, composed of tubulin protein, and they are arranged in 9 plus 2 system. Thank you, and if you want to explore more subjects, just go out to our website at www.usmlevideos.net, and you're also welcome to post important points you think that are very important for USMLA examination. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.